Hello and welcome everybody. It's Karen. I am so sorry for my long pause on YouTube, but uh, we had a holiday, then summer has happened, family visitors have come, and honestly it's been so nice outside, I really haven't wanted to be in my craft room indoors too much. But today I've got this video for you. It's I'm showing you the new collection. It's brand new by Craft Consortium called Candy Christmas. Uh, this is the 12 by 12 papers I'm showing you. There are four pages of each design and it is just so fun and whimsical. It's designed by Hells Coupleditch and she's done a few collections for Craft Consortium but she's got this beautiful style of uh, drawing it's they're just storybook images in in these collections of hers so these are the chipboard ephemera I'm just putting on some of those little scenes so just to show you that that could be a card in itself uh, this could be a beautiful scrapbook page I think you could just put a lovely family picture in the middle there and you would call that one done pretty much um, on this page there are all these images on a darker background uh, and there's one a few pages on here on a lighter background um, all those presents on the back I could see using that for so many different cards and basically these little images if you just take your your regular basic shape dies that's a circle it could be the square the, the rectangle a hexagon whatever you've got a star you could easily cut these out to make little cards and I'm going to show you a few examples later on in this video of a couple of cards I've done so so stay tuned <laughs> so this uh, paper on the left it's hard to tell but it's embossed so there is a beautiful glossy shine to it uh, and this one on the right I really think you could just fussy cut out those presents I know there's so many times I want images of presents to put under a tree or on a card and I think that paper would be great for it. Now this one on the right is a pearlized paper and the one on the left was the embossed one so it's kind of fun to have the two different colors and finishes. And this page there's this dark version and then again there's another lighter version and it also is embossed. Um, it's I hope you can see that shine there it's beautiful and you could just cut out any of those little word boxes or a larger one to make a background now my camera is going to go out of focus and I apologize it does that a bit throughout this video um, but I wanted to show you here that that patterned the green pattern and the pink they both coordinate with the presence so you could easily mix and match those two pages together and then these little circles are just so much fun. I could see that as a background for so many things as well. And I'm dying to make a card out of these snowflake backgrounds because I think just a pretty silver snowflake and a sentiment and you've got another card done. And as always, the, in, the front inside and the back inside of these um, paper packs have got images that you can cut out if you dare. I don't, I've never dared yet. I'd love to keep mine all together. But they're beautiful images that you could use. Now, this is the 6x6 paper pack, and it's exactly the same, just a smaller scale. Um, the pages are embossed where they're embossed on the other one or pearlized. So you can see that shine in there. They are just just a beautiful, beautiful collection. It's so well thought out, this one. Just a lot of fun. You can see those images are so sweet. There goes my camera, sorry. So both pa sides of the paper can be used and it does coordinate really well. So these are the 3D decoupage sets. And if you've never done this, it's really quite fun. That image on the top left is the base, and then all those other ones are clearly marked, layer one, two, three, four, five. And what you do is you just pop them out. They come out really easily from that uh, background paper. And you just mount them on foam tape uh, in the order that they say. And you will get an image that comes out um, all stacked up and layered up so some parts are in front and some are behind and I have done this one for you here I just haven't put it down on the on the base layer 
But you can see with the foam tape, there's lots of depth to that. And so when you look at it, some things come out more to the forefront and more at the back. And it really is a fun look. So I am going to show you a couple of cards with this in a minute. Um, I haven't attached this down. I just left it as two, just to show you a different way of using them. Um, this is the coordinating cardstock that comes with this collection. And I love this paper because it is just perfectly coordinated. I thought I would show you, there are two pages of each color and I just, I know this camera is really doing its thing going in and out, but I'm just trying to show you here how that one little decoupage image coordinates so well with all these different colors of, of solid cardstock. You could put this on any one of these pieces of paper. So you can see here, it matches up with everything so far. I'm just flipping through to show you the different colors, but there are quite a few colors in this collection. And honestly, I've looked at it and I've thought, I think I want to use it for different things like flower dyes and <laughs> other things. So I think it's a great thing to have. And here it is. Uh, I'm just gonna flip through quickly here and show you how it coordinates with this really busy pattern paper. So you could easily mount that um, pattern paper onto this solid cardstock for a really, really nice look. So there you have it. That goes with all of those colors of, of cardstock. Now these are the chipboard uh, pieces. I've just put them out for you there. Uh, they are really fun. Um, there are all these gingerbread men. That's on the right is my decoupage piece that I've got, but you can see you could just stick the little gingerbread men with it to make an, a card. Um, just that's one idea. You could have the trees there. You could easily make a little gingerbread village by adding in the other gingerbread houses. And then these are the two stamp sets that come with the collection. And I love that they have the colored um, covers on these because it gives you a little bit of an idea of what how you could color them in. Um, now, these are the gems that come. They also coordinate, of course, with this collection. And there is a shaker mix, which really is quite a fun one. It's uh, got these beautiful silver stars in it and some white sequins and some um, slightly more colored sequins. Um, so you can obviously make some shaker cards and here is the washi tape that comes with this collection so it also of course coordinates and here i've put it on an envelope just to give you an idea just on the flap that's one way you could use it but of course there's lots more ways you could put it on the front of your card and that's the gingerbread washi tape okay so i'm going to give you a few card examples here just to help uh, give you some ideas for this card, I am using that decoupage paper. That's the base layer that I didn't use. And I've marked on the card front where I want it to go. Uh, under my right hand there, I've cut a front and die cut an opening from it that's a little bit smaller than the width of this decoupage piece I'm gluing down. I ran it through an embossing folder and then I put some acetate on the, on the front to cover up that opening. And I will list everything below in the description box if you're interested. Here I have die cut two pieces of foam and glued them together and I used some white acrylic paint to go around the outside edges because I don't like to look at the blue from the side angle, especially when it's so much foam. So that just covers that up a bit. And here I am sticking it down onto the card front to make a little well for the shaker bits to go into. And here they go. And then I use glue to attach the front, so I put glue all over that blue foam, as you can see there. And I like to clean off that acetate because usually I've got stuff stuck all over it, so it's best to clean it off before I stick it down, or so I find. Okay, so I'm just going to put this uh, an acrylic block over this now, just to hold that in place while that glue sets up. And then once it's dry, of course, you have to shake that for the fun of it and just to make sure the bits don't come out. 
And I've cut this sentiment now from some of that coordinating cardstock, but I also cut two layers out of white cardstock and I've stacked everything up. And here I am just clear heat embossing it. And I usually clear heat emboss this about three times because I just really like that glossy finish that you get when you emboss it that many times. So that's the little star that comes in that sequin mix. It's just a beautiful little, or not a star, snowflake. It's really pretty. And I just glued a couple of these onto the front. And I've attached my sentiment and I'm just trying to figure out here uh, where to put these little gemstones. Um, I just wanted a couple on either side. But you can see how well they coordinate with that cardstock. It's just so easy. Now, this is the last layer of the decoupage piece. I actually stole this from the second set because I hadn't thought this out very well. So if you're doing this, just don't attach this piece onto that, the uh, decoupage stacked layers. Save it for this. Um, but there's the card and on the inside I've put some washi tape and there you have it. Okay, now here's the second card. I've already uh, stenciled with some um, ultra sparkle paste from Cosmic Shimmer onto the front and I'm using this scene from the 6x6 paper pack for this and I just put a little bit of holographic uh, mirror cardstock along the top and the bottom. This is the stacked up piece I showed you earlier, the decoupage piece, and I just glued that over that scene and a sentiment and a couple of those little snowflakes, and that was the card done. And it's just, it's kind of fun because it does have a lot of dimension to that one. So there's two ideas for you. Now in this one, I, I cut from this very patterned piece of paper. I just used uh, my circle dies and cut out different sizes uh, of images from it. I stacked them. Um, there's about two layers of plain white cardstock under each one, and I've uh, die cut slightly larger circles of the gold mirror cardstock. For the front of this, I have used some, uh, it's, it's a glitter paper from my dollar store which I stuck to regular cardstock and I cut out those snowflakes. You actually don't see the snowflakes terribly well, but it gives a bit of gold in behind it. And then I just put all those little images on the front with a sentiment and there's another card done. No coloring involved, it's nice and easy. Now, this one was a little bit more work. I actually didn't show everything in it, but the whole front layer is acetate uh, with double-sided foam in between and a I've just cut little strips of all these coordinating cardstock colors and it's a trifold card so on the inside is another one of those little six by six scenes. So there you have it, um, four little cards that hopefully will spark some inspiration. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope I will see you again next time and if you like the video I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much guys.